Hello, I'm Christina from Scraps of Love, and today we're going to talk about envelope art. We've spent all that time making beautiful cards, and then we put it in a plain white envelope. How boring. So today, I'm going to share with you a few tips, tricks, and techniques um, with envelopes. All right, so we have a few stamps that um, Anne Corbier Scott has designed for us. And I'm going to share with you um, a few designs. So, so this is our latest design. It's called Special Delivery. All right. So I created, quick and easily, I just stamped the um, flower here. And I stamped it in a green and then I just traced over it with black. So you still have the green in there. And then I colored it in with a gel pen and a little bit of Wink of Stella or um, the Nuvo Clear to give it a little shimmer. I went over the lettering that I did with um, the gel pen just to add a little oomph. All right, so that one is quick and easy. This one here is from our Cactus Doodle set and it's just simply stamped and a little piece of washi tape that is just wrapped around the corner of the envelope. All right, so it is done on the back side, but look at how cute that a little bit of washi tape does. All right, and this is stuck down so it will go through the mail perfectly fine. All right, um, we also, I did, this one's kind of fun. On a dark envelope, we have um, Chalk Writer and this is kind of a creamy chalk here, and literally, I just did a quick little doodle, and then wrote in with my favorite Signo um, white pen. Ta-da! You can also do it on the back, super quick, super easy, and it's not boring. This one is also from our um, special delivery set where we have just stamped and colored. So this is a cute little stamp that is empty in the set and then I just stamped the snail inside there. And then I'll get ready to address it. And you know, just a little, that little bit just really um, brightens up the envelope. And this one, I must say is the my probably my most favorite that I've done today and this one I stamped with the flower and embossed in gold and then I took my Versamark um, pad and just ran it around the edge of my envelope and dipped it in the gold embossing powder and heat and then once again my favorite Uniball Signo pen this time in gold and wrote on the dark envelope and so the back is, is empty. You can then write your return address on the back if you like. You can certainly um, do a little more decorating, stamp some more, emboss. Okay, another fun thing um, we have just gotten into the store is from Peterson Arn and it's called Addressalope. This one is the Chevron edition. So this one, I simply laid the stencil over my envelope and using that as a guide, wrote in the white pen. All right, so even that, even though there's not a lot of other decoration on there, but look at how whimsical and cute that is. So then they also have one that's called an address of curvy edition. This one, see how fun that is? And there again, I just took a sponge dauber with a little bit of ink and did a little random dot pattern and I stamped our flower that says you've got mail. All right, super cute that one, super simple. Um, trying to think here what else I was going to show. This one here is a gown in the dark. I just stamped this one in like a white um, chalk ink. So it might be a little more difficult to see um, on the camera, but it looks really pretty in person. And there we wrote in the, the leaf and very simple. A 
another tip that I like to that Anne has shared with me, so I'm going to share with you, is to write your words, your lettering in pencil, and then using your um, pigment inks, trace over. So that way, one, you are um, aware of how your spacing is, and two, if you make a mistake, it's easy to take your white eraser and erase. And then it looks like you hand lettered without using a pencil. <laughs> So, and then um, another fun thing to do is that your stamped image of color, you can actually go back and add a little extra colors and make it super cute. And it's quick. So, like I said, you spend all that time on your card, why not spend another couple minutes and make a beautiful envelope? Thank you for watching.